Hello, everybody. So today we are going to learn about um, hydrogen and the alkali metals. So in your Edmodo, go to the post that says hydrogen and alkali metals. We have the link for the reading. We have the practice questions and we have my email that you send your answers to. So let's take a look at these. So, um, the alkali metals are in this first column of the periodic table. They are in red. Okay. Um, hydrogen, even though it's not an alkali metal, is going to be it is going to be included with the alkali metals because it has similar chemical properties. And the reason is that um, they all have the same outer electron configuration. So group one, alkali metals and the hydrogen, the green H above it, um, they have a similar configuration of outer shell electrons, okay? There is only going to be one electron, one electron in the outer orbital, and it is going to be an S orbital electron okay so hydrogen its last electron that is filled is the 1s its last electron goes in the 1s orbital and there's only one of them okay lithium the one below hydrogen it has one electron in its 2s orbital sodium the one below that has one electron in its 3s orbital and it just goes on and on like that as you work your way down um, the alkali metal column all right um, so let's look at some of the chemical properties so the one electron is easily removed during chemical reactions so um, group one elements are very reactive so they're going to react rapidly with oxygen to make metal oxides. Um, they are very soft metals. They can become liquids in a little bit warmer than room temperature. OK, so very, very low melting point. OK. So make sure that you finish your questions and turn them into me.